Now maybe you're like Naaman here this morning. And you don't know God. You simply know of him. Maybe someone like the servant girl has said to you, hey, here's some things that God's done in my life. Why don't you come to church and hear a little bit more about him? The command for you, if you don't know God, is this to simply believe in the one God has sent. To believe in Jesus. There's nothing that you bring to the table. And there's nothing required. You were designed and created to be in relationship with God. And that only happens through his son. Jesus Christ who died on the cross in your place to pay for your sins and was raised on the third day so that he could credit his perfect life to your account, see you as righteous and be in perfect standing with God. And all you have to do is believe. Say, Jesus, I trust you. Would you take my life? Would you forgive me of my sin, Lord? Would you make me new? Would you, like Naaman, wash me and cleanse me. Now, if Naaman in our story here, an enemy of God, showed enough humility and eventually a willingness to obey God for who he is, how much more for those of us who know God, who have experienced the benefits of being willing to obey in the past, Will we be a people who obey God even when it's hard and even when it doesn't make sense?